Hello folks, and welcome to Review Time. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I am not looking forward to this particular battle. You all know me when it comes to politics. I want absolutely nothing to do with them. And to look at a battle that contains a political figure, at least in the YouTube space, I really had to ponder if it was something I wanted to look at. But I ultimately decided, screw it, and we're going to look at the battle anyway. The battle in question we are looking at is a very recent ERBP that was released not too long ago, that being Smosh vs Vosh, a battle between the aforementioned political streamer and one of the most iconic duos during the golden age of YouTube. I have no doubt this matchup was done purely because of their names alone. You know, Vosh, Smosh, get it. Also, this battle was released on April 1st, which you may think that this was an April Fool's skit, but they don't say that anywhere in their description or the video itself. So, by all accounts, this is a legit battle. I really don't know what I should be expecting, but let's hope it doesn't get too crazy, especially knowing who's involved. Well, what the heck is this? This looks like something straight out of a Dracula movie. I thought this was supposed to be a battle between Smoosh and Voosh. All jokes aside, this is a pretty solid intro. I have a few complaints though. It goes on for a little bit too long, Vosh's timing on the keys are slightly off, and I can clearly see the phone that is playing the organ music tucked at the very back. Also, these gravestones, they're sort of hard to make out, and we could see it has Ian and Anthony's names carved into them, but because Anthony's name is longer than Ian's, they had to shrink it down to fit it inside the inner shape of the grave, which makes it pretty difficult to see the name. Why they didn't make the names go from top to bottom to be seen better, I don't really know. Gosh. Oh dear Wardy. Nothing's wrong with the costume, I just can't stomach people like Vosh who look like that for a living. It's a bit of a force of habit, but everything about the costume is spawn on. And I'm gonna be honest, the first time I watched this battle, I didn't even realize this was Xander playing as him. I thought it was somebody completely different. Man, where did the time go? Horses! Oh wow, just for that, gold star. That is top tier effort. Now about the casting, I like the one for Anthony, not so much for Ian. I don't know what it really is that turns me off on JB and Ian. I think it might be the facial hair. Ian's usually known for having a full beard or sometimes he'll be clean shaved. Having someone depict him with just the mustache feels off to me. And also the hair doesn't stand out in any way. You couldn't have at least brushed it into resembling the shape of a bowl. It's the left wing streamer, here to make you twitch. Okay, first impressions. He sounds just as creepy as the real Vosh. I actually shivered when he did that. Uh, by the way, this was made to clearly piss on Vosh's recent controversies. If you know, you know. So yeah, expect a lot of shots taken towards him. Just a heads up for all of you Vosh fans, if they even exist. I gotta tell you guys something. <laughs> Smosh Games was utter shit! Personally, I never got into Smosh Games. I know it's more of a gathering type of gaming channel, so there wouldn't be whole playthroughs of freaking map fodder, but nothing they've played or the videos themselves really stuck out to me. Besides their playthrough of Slender, which was pretty funny. LOL random skits just made Bosch mad. Yeah, as an adult, you kind of see cracks in their old content, but they're still pretty entertaining to watch, if not obnoxious sometimes. But their new content with the added cast, I could not get into them, even back when they were released. Something about it feels artificial. Well, I mean, we know why that was the case, but did anything really change after they got the company back? Say it with me now, chat. Props to the attention of detail with the stream showing a live recording of Vosh facing towards it. 
But my question is, where's the webcam? Say it with me now, chat. Smosh bad! Smosh bad! Smosh bad! Oops, wrong guy. Oh well. I think these two are gay. But that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm not misogynistic. No, 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 no. We know that you 100% are. You might say you aren't, but I just have a bit of a feeling that your closet contains some horse skeletons. Now don't you worry, I'm not going to make a bunch of horse jokes for every single line that Vosh says. And to be honest, what you're about to see later on in this battle will already do that job for me. I'm not misogynistic, but uh, these two pussies gotta go, bro. Ew, gross. I did not need to see that. Why is it so thick too? Unless it's not saliva and it's, uh, 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 um, uh. Semen. Oh, telling people to shut up. How patronizing can you get? Look who's talking, man who just abused his water bottle then smacked his ass into a table. You're literally the worst people that I have ever met. Okay, I am aware that ERPP has been reusing some of the more infamous lines from the rap out community and their stuff. Is this one of them? Because that sounds way too familiar to me for some reason. Donut. Holy shit, he's rolling down on that donut without even moving his legs. Just take my pink frosted sprinkled donut! I'll kick your ass! Wait, does that mean he kicked the ass of his pink frosted sprinkled donut? I thought that was your signature food battle item, Ian. Maybe Anthony should have said that line instead. He took over your whack channel! Well, hey, 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 Anthony, put that gun down. That was just a suggestion I was making, alright? Took over your whack channel, we'd, we'd have, have to, to call, call it Smosh Bad! Well, I understand the mass thing because, you know, Vosh Fat, but Smosh Mass, for some reason, made me think of Mass Effect. Sorry, my face is tired from BJ and Futa Dicks! And food fights for Eon! Oh, come on, you should have said Food Battle, it was right there! And Vosh ate the leftover! Okay, this is pretty good animation. Why the hell does that look so phallic? It looks like it's made of pink flesh. Ew. It's so big and chunky, probably couldn't jump the Red Rover! Does this imply he plays that game still to this day? Because if it is, it would make a lot of sense given what he was caught with. He probably couldn't jump the Red Rover! Oh my god, he got dead barred it. We've seen the equipment in the DMs, but watch you look like a BM! Love the little ERPP poster, Easter egg, but did you really have to put the logo on the drawer too? It looks out of place. Bro, I can't even spend 12 hours strictly on gaming these days. How do people like this guy get into Twitter and Twitch debates day to night every single second without fail? There should be a term for that, like, terminally political. Yeah, I'll go with that. When it comes to dating chicks, I don't think you're winning either. But she said she was 18. You see who you're tapping, would it put our dicks inside her? Whoa, you unlocked a memory with that song reference. And how I used to sing that unprovoked in my house sometimes. Little advice for parents out there, never let your kids listen to Smosh music. Uh. Go back to lip syncing some cartoon shows theme. Man is so fat, he is causing an earthquake with every step. Maybe he should fight Queso next time. Go back to lip syncing some cartoon shows theme. Beats the hell out of listening to Ben Shapiro or whoever he listens to on a daily basis. I dominate TikTok screen. You couldn't even rap on anime. Ouch. That is true though, that series is fucking awful. Like, it's almost too bad for me to look at. My comedy is top tier. My self-reflecting is so funny. Like how I showed a folder of lolly porn on my stream. <laughs> uh, my career's dead. I'm a privileged white guy with a shit ton of money. I, I don't even have to make a joke out of this. He just went and said it. I'm a privileged white guy with a shit ton of money. This is coming straight from the horse's mouth here. I promise that's the last horse joke I'll make. But apparently he has a net worth of Five million dollars. <sighs> Wealth is wasted on these people. The shitty channel almost went down the hole of bankruptcy. All because of those ass wipes at the Fi Media. See, this is why you're better off being an independent YouTuber. Yes, you'd make great money, but you're selling your soul for that shit. 
production. Nerd versus geek and a Caesar means of production. But now they got all that back. So hopefully that means we'll see the glory days of Smosh once again. Ah, shit. I beat Destiny in a live stream. <laughs> Best that. that was on Jesse Peterson because I'll get more fame. Holy shit, those coffee mugs are huge. That was on Jesse Peterson because I'll get more fame than you'll ever get. Ah, see, I recognize that from Ice King Fan vs. Jared S. Also, dude, they have 25 million subscribers. You only have 450,000. Shut it. Oh, sorry, I mean... SHUT UP! It comes to mind opening, you're very limiting. Wow, that side shot makes him look like the Yes Chad meme. Except he's anything but a Chad. In your intro, it looks like you're autistic stimming. As a member of the Spectrum, we don't accept this man into our society of stimmers. Ooh, that sounded really bad. Man bun! Really? How much more soy can you get, boss? Honest answer? By wearing flannel. So... He's the ultimate soy. We'll eat you alive, bitch! Fucking lunchtime with s'mores! Mmm, soy burger. We'll eat you alive, bitch! Fucking lunchtime with s'mores! I feel like it would have been better if they censored the swearing for Smosh because, you know, they do that. It fits with their style, honestly. Up from the dead! So you know we won't see Who wants to watch Christian debate for eight hours of pop? May I introduce you to one man named Gino Samuel? It's 85 parts, oh my god. Smosh was real, he'd stop being such a left-leaning cuck. See you with us now, Smoshers. Oh, 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 I've been waiting for this. Uh, can, can I join? Hold on, let me just get ready and... Okay, here we go. See you with us now, Smoshers. Fucking shut, shut up! up! Oh! <sighs> that felt good. Well, that was Vosh vs. Smosh by ERBP, and I think it's... Wait, what's happening? Okay, I guess I can comment on this. I really gotta say, the production value for these battles have increased immensely. This all looks real good, and aside from the background sometimes being pretty basic in modeling. But seriously, what the heck is going on? Oh, oh, oh my god, that's, that's a horse. I know where this is going now. I don't know if this was fully modeled, it's hard to tell with the lining, but is this thing, like, alive? Oops, I can see your motion track block right there. Okay, when did this turn into an analog horror movie? I expected to end up in the back rooms at some point. Xander. Who the hell is this? Is that a live Chucky? I, 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 uh, oh man. Oh man, this video took a wild turn. I need an adult! I can feel the passing time. Oh, thank God it's over. I have no idea what the hell that was, and frankly, I don't want to think about it. Let's just get to the conclusion. And that was Vaj vs. Smosh. Aside from whatever the absolute hell that ending was, and whether or not this thing was meant to be an April Fool skit, this was a really high quality battle. This is definitely one of the most well produced battles they have made in a while. From all the perspective shots, the scene transitions, the modeling of the backgrounds, and that analog horror shit at the end, it all looks great. Minus Vosh's room, which looks too Robloxy and lacking in detail, 
The editing is not too crazy to be obnoxious, but not too mundane to be boring. It just hits the perfect balance that I look for in these types of battles. Although, there are some visual hiccups, like both the Smosh guys' lighting being really blown out compared to Vosh's. The costumes are good across the board, but again, I don't think Justin was really a good fit for Ian. They could have gone with somebody else for the part. The lyrics aren't really anything to write home about, but they get the job done. It's definitely very catchy, but Anthony's voice is noticeably lower quality compared to Ian and Vosh's, almost like he's speaking out of a Pringles can. But aside from all that, this was a solid job from the ERBP team. I now know that they're kind of embracing the parody side of the ERBP channel now, so clearly most of their new work does exactly that, just taking the piss out of the genre, but if you told me this was one of those parodies, I would have never believed you. So, with all of that, I am giving Vosh vs. Smosh an overall rating of a solid 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and Vosh, do us a little favor and SHUT UP! Peter, the horse is here. Oh yeah. It's so creepy the way it just stares like that. Why doesn't it do something? He's retarded, Lois. Ew! 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 Uh, uh, what is it? Brian, is Paul Solvino standing behind me? Hey, you want a sugar cube, horsey? Uh, oh god, Brian, don't! Uh, uh, ew! Ew! Ew!